Hi, this is Chris Terrell with Everyday VBA. Again, we're going to be looking at the Visual Basic Editor. I have the Visual Basic Editor open. You can get there by going hitting your Developer tab, going to clicking the Visual Basic button. You can also get there by going Alt F11 as well. Um, we're going to be looking at the Properties window today. The Properties window is very useful. You will use it a lot. Uh, the way Visual Basic for applications is set up is every object has properties and that's where you'd use the property window. So for example, the name of this sheet is sheet one. Let's go ahead and change this. We're going to call this test sheet. Okay. You'll notice a couple things. You'll notice that its name changed right here in the properties window. If I come up here, you'll notice that I'm in book two. You'll notice that the code name uh, of the object is sheet one which did not change but the name of that sheet did. You can also change it in here as well so we're going to change this back to sheet one. Okay, If we change that back notice that it changes that on the tab. You'll also notice that it, the different uh, options that you can have in here you can display page breaks you can turn that to false or true. You can display left or right false or true, auto, auto filter, enable calculation, uh, these are all basic options that you can set up for that. Now let's go and look at something. If we click on, we're going to go up here. We started we started this module, and also when we click on that module, it opens up the properties for that module. So you'll notice that you've got the name of the name of the uh, form here. You've got the different colors, different captions. So if we wanted to change the name of this, let's go and double click on it so it actually shows. If we wanted to change the name, saying this. This is a test of a form. We would just put test of a form, but you'll notice that it also has all of these different different uh, properties or different methods that you can actually use on this user form. The, you can view it two different ways. You can view it alphabetical, or you can also view it by category, which is nice if you're looking for like it breaks it down into appearance, behavior, font. Uh, miscellaneous picture, etc., which is which is really cool. But every 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 object in Visual Basic has properties. You'll also notice when we set up the developer ribbon, I talked about these ActiveX controllers. Let's go ahead and just put one in. If I click on that right there, it's going to give me it's going to give me a command button. You'll notice that it changed here in my properties window to that to that, bu that button because that's what I'm active on. You'll also notice that design mode got activated so I can actually resize and change that. If I turn at design mode off, it's just a clickable button. It actually won't do anything. You can also click on here which gives you the properties which just shows you in Excel um, the different properties for that for that button. But that's the way the the VBA properties windows wor window works. Uh, We'll be able to use that. It's actually very helpful in code if you want to change a name because it does follow the same syntax as far as changing the name or a caption or uh, the font that follows the same syntax. And we'll, we'll look at that in, in future future videos. But that's a brief overview of the properties window. A very, 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 very important aspect to the Visual Basic Editor. Hopefully we have we have kind of simplified it or help you at least understand it so you kind of know what you're looking for and it's not just a, a window full of random information on that left hand side. Hope you enjoyed. Keep watching the videos. Thanks again for watching this video. Please subscribe to the Everyday VBA YouTube channel. Please join the VBA community at everydayvba.com and most importantly, learn VBA.